Greetings. Pleasure to present 2008 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2, question number 7, which tested on enthalpy changes. Part A. Define the standard enthalpy of formation of a substance. This is the heat change when one mole of a substance when one mole of a substance is formed is formed from its constituent elements constituent elements under standard conditions under standard conditions that would be the definition of the enthalpy of formation or we can call it the molar heat of formation in part b we are given thermochemical equations and a thermochemical equation is simply a balanced chemical equation that goes ahead to show the heat change that accompanies the same reaction. Now here, because we want to preserve certain number of moles, we are allowed to use fractions in balancing. For example, in delta H1, we are burning one mole of ethane. So as we balance, we have to make sure that one mole is preserved on the substance being burnt. And for that matter, we are allowed to use 7 over 2 to balance the oxygens. The same happens for carbon and for hydrogen. So let's go ahead and look at the questions that were asked based on the three thermochemical equations. The first question, name two types of heat changes represented by delta H3. So if you look at the equation, firstly, we are burning one mole of hydrogen. For that matter, the first name can be heat of combustion or enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen. But then if you look keenly, we are also forming only one mole of our steam. So again, this can be called heat of formation of water or steam. Because we have explained that for purposes of preserving certain number of moles in our reactions, we shall be able to use fractions in balancing. So why these two? It's because we are burning one mole of hydrogen and again we are also forming one mole of water. The next question is asking us to draw an energy level diagram for the reaction represented by equation one. Before we look at that equation, an energy level diagram has these two axes. On the x-axis, we normally have reaction progress. Others call it reaction coordinate, and others even call it reaction path. And then on the y-axis, we have energy. So, if we look at our equation one, it was the enthalpy of combustion of ethane. So we are burning one mole of ethane. In excess oxygen, we produce two moles of carbon four oxide and three moles of water. And this reaction is accompanied by 1,560 kilojoules of energy. It is actually an exothermic reaction because delta H1 is 
negative. So we get back to our energy level diagram and draw. So up here, being an exothermic reaction, the products will have higher energy content than products. So we have our gas there being burnt in excess oxygen and then the process is accompanied by the system losing about 1.5 I mean 1560 kilojoules of energy to form two moles of carbon dioxide and three moles of water so delta H here is negative 1560 kilojoules per mole now it's three max so we would give a half for labeling the axis appropriately another half for the reactants a half for the products and one whole mark for the change in heat or the change in energy levels remember this had to be shown as a negative so if a student didn't show that then uh, the one mark would go next question is asking us to calculate the standard enthalpy of formation of ethane so student this part is testing on Hess law and allow me to do it on a separate page because of the space available here may not be enough for our explanation so the first one we have enthalpy of combustion of ethane second one is enthalpy of combustion of carbon and third we have enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen and then somebody is asking us to now calculate enthalpy of formation of ethane so the first thing we shall do to be to make our fourth equation is to write the equation for the formation of ethane from its constituent elements constituent elements of ethane is carbon and hydrogen so here we are the amount of heat given here is what we are being asked we do not know so let us call it x kilojoules per mole and of course we need to balance a two on carbon and a three on hydrogen now armed with the four equations we now want to draw an energy cycle diagram so that we can use the same to get the missing delta H and that is the enthalpy of formation of ethane. So to draw an energy cycle diagram we need to look at the four equations given carefully and then we look at one that will form the main root from which the others can be obtained and you agree with me equation four can actually give the other three so at this point we shall create a root going down and this root is represented by equation two carbon being burnt in oxygen this is giving us carbon four oxide now in two we are burning only one mole of carbon but here we have two moles so the amount of energy involved here shall now be two multiplied by the amount of energy which is negative 394 kilojoules equation three can be obtained from this part so you form another root from it and this gives us steam or water again in equation three we are burning one mole of hydrogen here there are three moles so the amount of heat involved here shall now be three multiplied by negative 286 
And then lastly, from equation 1, we can burn ethane to give us 2 moles of carbon dioxide and 3 moles of water. This we know as negative 1560 kilojoules. So, the only heat that we do not know is here, and it is X kilojoules. So, armed with this energy cycle diagram, we can easily get the value of X. How? By identifying the starting point for our reaction, here it is, and then you identify the end, and here we are. So looking keenly, we have two routes that can lead us from reactants to products. And here we have X and 1560 is the first route. And then we have these two as the second route. So by Hess's law, we know X kilojoules added to negative 1560. That is for our first route here should give the same amount of energy as the second root. So we shall get 2 into minus 394 added to 3 into minus 286. So the two roots should give the same amount of heat energy if Hess's law is anything to go by. So from here, we are able to get X as negative 788 that is the product of the two, minus 858, the product of the two, and then this one we shall move, we shall add it both sides, so that we are able to eliminate it on the side of X, and when you do this, you get X as negative 86 kilojoules per mole, and that becomes the answer to our question. So we have been able to get the answer to this question as negative 86 kilojoules per mole as demonstrated on that separate page. So moving on, when a sample of ethane was burnt, the heat produced raised the temperature of 500 grams of water by 21.5 Kelvin. Specific heat capacity of water is given as 4.2 joules per gram per Kelvin. And then now we are being asked to calculate the heat change for this reaction. Now, delta H for heat change is normally given by MC delta T, where this is mass in kilogram. This is specific heat capacity of water and this is the change in temperature. So for our case, mass will be 500. We have to change in two kilograms by dividing by 1,000. We shall multiply by 4.2 given here, and then our change in temperature is 21.5. This gives me 45.15 kilojoules. Remember K is small k and J is capital J. So it's two marks, one mark for the multiplication and one mark for the answer, including the units. If they are wrong, or you write capital K here, half a mark will go from one. Lastly, mass of a thin, that's what, that was burnt. So in our energy level diagram, we have negative 1560 kilojoules that are produced when you burn one mole of ethane. So, to get answer to this question, we need to relate that to this amount of heat that we obtained from our experiment. So, we would say that if 1560 kilojoules is obtained by one mole of ethane, we only got 45.15 kilojoules. So how many moles did we burn? Cross multiplication gives 45.15 times 1 divided by 1560. And that gives me uh, 0 0.02894 moles. From here, 
To get mass, I'll simply multiply number of moles by the mass, the formula mass, the relative formula mass, which uh, the examiner has given me a study. And this gives me 0 0.8682 grams. Students, with that, we've come to the end of a sample question on enthalpy changes as tested in the year 2008. Thank you so much for your support and all the best in your revision for the Form 4s, all the best in your study for the Form 1 to 3, and continue keeping it the Kenyan teacher.